All right, so in the last video, we were um, converting this to CMYK, um, which is up here, image mode, CMYK. It's going to give you a dialog box and just press OK after that. Let's talk about um, smart objects. I'm going to make a new file. File new. I want this to be 300 CMYK for printing, and this is letter size. If you go up here to the preset, you have the US paper size, and this is really nice because you can change between different paper sizes that might be in a printer, such as legal and tabloid. So legal is this size, and tabloid is 11 by 17. So I just want a letter size, I'm going to say OK. Now there's another way to bring in a photo other than just file and open or taking the thing from the desktop and dragging it into your software. So I'm going to say file, place embedded. And now I'm going to pick the same crab. It's going to have this X. I'm going to press enter to commit and we have this little thing here. This little thing is um, refers to the smart object. Now let's take this other file that we had earlier. We know that it's one it's by one. two by one. And I'm going to select all, select all, command A, copy, edit, copy, or command C. And now I'm gonna go over here and we're just gonna paste that in. So edit, paste, or command V. And you can see it's a lot smaller. I'm using the move tool here, which is shortcut key V for move tool. I'm gonna select this layer and move this around with the move tool. Um, whatever you do, it's happening on the layer that you're on, right? So if I try now, say I get the eraser tool, which is E, notice how I can't, um, I cannot erase on this. It's giving me a uh, no, you can't do that. And why is that? That's because this is a smart object layer. So why would I want this um, layer? How does it come in handy? So let's go to this layer, let's call this crab, and I'm just double clicking in there, double click in the text, and we're going to rename these so that we don't get confused and have layer number 120, 50 million. Um, so it's a good practice to start naming your layers. I'm going to click on this one, I'm going to use the move tool, and now I'm going to resize this. If you go to edit, and tra free transform, which is command T. Now let's make this bigger. If this is happening to you where it's getting all distorted, I want you to press shift and don't unpress shift until everything is over. Just keep your pinky on shift forever and then press enter and then you can get rid of shift. So I made this larger. It's not the best practice to make something larger but you can always make something smaller. If you make something larger, you're blowing it up and it might get pixelated. Same thing happens if we, well, I'll talk about that later. So, okay, let's go back to here. I made this bigger. Now let's make it smaller again. And now let's make it bigger again. Let's see how that looks. So it's actually looking sort of okay. Um, all right. So it looks a little bit pixelated, actually. Um, I can kind of see it on my screen. This looks a little bit more blurry. Now let's look, let's go to this guy, the smart object crab, and I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to make it small, and now let's make it bigger. But if we put them side by side, um, you can see how this one is has remained 
it hasn't lost any quality in the resolution at all. So that is why you might want to use smart objects. If you're doing a lot of photo stuff um, and you want to be able to make something big or small. Now say I decide I like this size and I want to be able to erase on it and I can't. I'm using the eraser tool and I can't. So I would click and then it's going to ask me if I want to rasterize the smart object. Raster, rasterize is referring to the pixels. It's, it means it's going to get rid of that algorithm, that smart object algorithm, and it's just going to make it pixels um, that we can then erase. So I'm going to say OK, and you notice that little icon has been uh, erased from there, and I can start actually, um, I can start erasing on this. Uh, you notice that I'm clicking on the eyeballs for the layer. This is going to hide or show your layer. How do I see my layers? My layers are gone. I don't know where they are. So you're going to go to Window, and you're going to go to Layers. Things that are here that are checked are going to show up. So if I want to see my layers, you should always probably have your layers on if you're using them, um, which you should be in Photoshop. So that's how you would see your layers. We're going to talk more about layers later. Um, at this point, let's talk about blowing up your image. So. Say I go back to here and I want to make this bigger now, that it's print size. So say I want to make this 8. Let's, um, I want it to be 300, right? So I need to get rid of the resample. I just want to change this. So the height is going to be 11, or maybe let's say 8, eight and a half, so it fits on a paper. Um, Width-wise. And I'm going to say OK. And you'll notice that it's probably gotten a little bit um, fuzzy, not as crisp. So just know that whatever resolution you have, you're kind of stuck with it. Unless you have a very large photo size file, you can always bring it down, but you can't really um, bring something back up I blow it up. You can't really add pixels that aren't there. So let's save this for your aunt who lives in Australia to email. We're going to do file export. I have the old Photoshop. So we're going to do save for web. In CC, your version, you're going to do export and it's going to be save for web. So let's just do save for web. This is going to give you four options here. I want to send her a JPEG. We've got some file, web files, GIF, JPEG, PNG, so let's use a GIF. I, so you can see here, you can choose the quality, low, high, medium, and this is the original size, 800K. So you can kind of see, you can zoom in and zoom out to kind of preview. Um, this is for some reason showing up at grayscale. Um, let's go medium. So this is 12K now. So that really took a bite out of the quality, right? But the thing about screen, si screen sizes is that you don't need a like giant um, file for showing it on the screen. And also, in order to send it quickly through the internet, something has to load, so it's better if the file size is smaller. So I'm going to say save, and then I'm going to call this crab, and I always like to, when I'm saving a file, at the end, if this is, I know it's for web, I'm going to put web at the end, and I'm going to say save. So even though this has 300 dpi, I can do a save for web, and it's going to save the fault smaller size for me. Um, all right, that's about it. So we did talk about RGB versus CMYK. We talked about image resolution, 
smart objects, don't blow up images unless they're a smart object, right? It's going to make it look blurry. You can always size something down, but when you're doing image, image size, it's not good to size something up. Um, good, so we will talk more in the next lesson.